Hey guys, Russ here from Calm Canine Training with my little friend Flash over here. So Flash already has a great understanding of his basic commands, place, recall, sit, down, kennel up, all that good stuff. Today we're going to be laying over the e-collar over everything he already knows. So I like to teach everything in steps and layers. It starts with food, then leash pressure, and prong collar pressure, and eventually laying over the e-collar, which is what we're going to do now. So we found his baseline level, which is the lowest level that he feels it at. For him it's about a two or a three. A um, little sensitive guy and what I'm going to be doing is every time that I give him a command I'm going to be holding down the continuous stem and as soon as he does the command I'm going to be releasing it and marking that moment with either good or yes and then rewarding him so the release of pressure from the collar is going to be matched up to a positive marker word which then follows up by food all right let's see how he does come come yes so for recall, I say come, hold down the stem. As soon as he starts heading my way, I mark it with yes. Yes to him means he did a good job and he should come to me to get paid. So it ensures that he finishes up the recall properly. So let's do that again. Come, yes. So it's come, stem, heads my way, release of stem, matched up with yes. Place, good. All four paws on place, release of stim, e-collar stim, matched up with good, and he gets his reward. Come, yes! Come, yes! Place, good. So, it's very basic formula. Teach the commands first, which he already knows, once the dog knows the commands, make sure they also understand marker words, obviously. Then, every time you say a command, apply e-collar stim. Every time the dog does the command, release the stim and simultaneously mark that behavior as something good. And then follow it up by reward in this situation we're using his supper. Come. Yes. Place. Good. And I like to use place. In this situation, I'm using place and recall as commands to teach. Place and or recall are the two commands that I usually go to when I'm starting to layer over the collar as the first ones that I teach with it. Come. Yes. So inherently, we're teaching him a language. We're teaching him this new sensation and what it means and how to relate to it. And I'm teaching that to him using a vocabulary of words that he already has a good understanding of words such as come, words such as place, sit, down, all the commands that he already has a strong understanding of, I'm now teaching him how to understand e-collar stim with a language and a vocabulary that he already has a good understanding of. So he's learning the e-collar with the commands and not vice versa. Place. Good. So over there, I gave a little extra guidance with my body, with the food to guide him on. The dog needs extra guidance, which even if they know the commands well, sometimes with the e-collar they might need a little extra guidance. And guidance can be simply moving your body there. Place. Good. Come. Yes. And this is the conditioning phase of e-collar training. And this is the first step to it. So. In this beginning stage, the conditioning phase, what we're doing is every single time that I give a command, I'm matching it up to the e-collar stim. Eventually the idea is that we give the command without the prompt of the e-collar, and then the e-collar only gets used for correction. But in order to get to that point, we first want to ensure the dog really understands how to shut this sensation off, how to shut the e-collar pressure off, and how to match it up to the different behaviors that they already know. So this is the conditioning phase. Just like any other tool or anything you do, you must make sure the dog understands it before just jumping to corrections. Come. Yes. Place. Good. Again, gave a little extra guidance with my body, moving my body to the cat. Come. Yes. Come. Yes. 
Place. Good. So this is how he's gonna eat his supper. It's important, a good thing to do when you're doing e-collar training that I like to do a lot of times is I take the dog's food and I'll mix it up with something a little higher value so it's a mix. So like he has uh, tantalizing turkey mixed in with it. Some basically like some dried raw and I sprinkle it in so that it's a little more exciting. They're more enthusiastic about it. Um, but I always match it up to food so that the sensation of shutting off the collar is always matched up to their food and using the dog's meals for it is a great thing to do. So this is how he's going to eat his supper. This is the conditioning phase. We're going to be working through this over the next couple days. I just wanted to give you guys a little glimpse into how e-collar conditioning works, how I do it, what it looks like, what the first session of e-collar training looks like with most dogs that I work with. It's very free um, movement. It's exciting. The dogs are usually very engaged at that point because we've already built that engagement using food and using body and using training and relationship and, and the commands that they already know. So this is just an extra background sensation. So if you watch training before an e is put on and after, it doesn't look that much different with most dogs that I work with because they already know the commands and now we're just having fun and this is just a background sensation of it. Anyways, hope this helps some of you. Place, good. Signing off. Love you guys. I hope it helps some of you out there. Me and Flash are going to finish up his supper and training.